welcome to powerhouse believers network it's uh, such a nice you know time to come your way today because god is always out to um, build our lives you know through teachings like this um, if you have been coming to powerhouse believers network to watch our videos i believe strongly that you have been blessed by many of those videos that we have put out there the essence of all, what we do at Powerhouse Believers Network is to build, is to build your spiritual life and to help you on this journey with God. And so everything that has to do with this has to do with your training, your discipleship, you know. And so it's important that you also make recommendations to other people. Let them know what is happening at Powerhouse Believers Network by sharing the link to our videos, our discipleship you know, videos you know, with them, to them. And then they will also be able to pick you know, from that point. Um, I want you to, no, don't, I want to tell you something, don't be hasty. When you come to channel like this, it's about being built, it's about your spiritual work. And, you know that the things of God cannot be done, you know, hastily or rashly. You have to take them precept upon precept, line upon line. And that's exactly how to grow. And so I want you to be patient, to be able to follow the teaching. This is as good as you are in a particular physical class, uh, physical church, you know, Bible study, or physical church, you know, service where you are taught the word of God. If you can just allow your spirit to be able to receive this message and then you pray after the message, you have to pray. Now, the Holy Spirit is inside of the believer. And because the Holy Spirit is in the believer and the Holy Spirit communicates with us. And because the Holy Spirit communicates, we must also learn the act of listening to the Holy Spirit. It has to be, it's something you must deliberately um, prepare your mind to listen to it, the voice of the Holy Spirit. Now, the reason why it's important is because the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 14, I would like to read that 14. It said, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God, which means that the leading of the Spirit of God is one of the, um, the things that accompanies sons of God. So if you are a child of God and you cannot be led by the Spirit of God, it means that you are in an error. It means something that you need to be part of, you are not enjoying it. And so most times you are going to be making errors or you're going to be assuming things from every Dick and Harry and take them in, even though they are poisonous. There are certain teachings, there are certain you know, views, doctrines that you may take because you are not being led by the Holy Spirit. And yet you assume those things are actually of God, but the truth is that they are not of God. Because the Holy Spirit is to lead us and to show us what is of God and what is not of God and then what to do. I am taking my time today not to, you know, um, be fast over this because it's very important in the training, you know, of a believer. Like I said, this is a discipleship, you know, a, a, a TV a hub on, on YouTube and we will do our best to allow God use us, bring perspectives of the kingdom. Now, so for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. But then, one of the things I want you to know today is what can help you to listen to this voice of the Spirit. If you pray in tongues often, you are sharpening your spirit. And then your spirit can now listen to the Holy Spirit. It will be easier for your spirit to pick from the Holy Spirit. And then your mind now decodes it, and then it becomes uh, a word from the Lord to you. 
most times what happen is that when you pray in tongues often that sensitivity increases your sensitivity increases when you pray in the spirit often so when i pray in tongues often mostly what happened is that my spirit man is sharpened the sensitivity of my spirit is sharpened and so when the holy spirit is speaking i can quickly you know pick it up that this is of the holy spirit now when i am able to pick that information you know from the spirit of god i cannot use it and the blessings that follows it i can now see it practically in my life but first of all i must have to believe that the spirit of god that is in me yearns to communicate with me by the time i have this understanding and then i prepare my heart to listen because many of the times the problems with the believer is that he is not expecting to hear from the Holy Spirit. It's so unfortunate that we, we just know that the Spirit of God is in us, but we are not prepared to hear from the Holy Spirit. Now, take for example, you are in, in a room, and um, you're, not just, you're not expecting a voice from anywhere. You're not just going to prepare to hear a voice. Now, the, the person who is in the room, but is is conscious that that a voice can come that person ha will have a better reception when the voice actually comes so we must always believe that we are as i'm going to walk today the spirit of god is in me as i'm walking into the market the spirit of god is in me and can communicate to me and tell me buy from this person don't buy from this person the Spirit of the Lord can communicate to you like that. As I'm walking on the street, the Spirit of the Lord can communicate to me and said, preach to that young woman that is coming on the left-hand side of the road. By hearing that and then picking it up, I can now change my direction, go to the other side where that young woman is coming from, and then I can say, can I tell you something about God? Why? Because the Holy Spirit has already, you know, spoken to me. To the inner witness, or what we call the inner witness. Now, why is it called the inner witness? Let me a, a little bit go back to that. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, from verse 12, it says, "Is it Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if we live after the flesh, ye shall die but if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body ye shall live that uh, 14 says no let's go to 15 rather for ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear but you have received the, the spirit of adoption whereby we cry abba father and then 16 says the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. The, the Spirit bears witness. Witness. Now, that witness, most times, or certain times, it comes like a thought. You can recognize it, identify it. Your mind can recognize that voice as a thought, as, as if it's your thought or it's something that drops in your mind like a thought. And then you can now begin to re respond to it. Because if a word comes from the Spirit, your spirit, man, receives it. When your spirit receives it, it drops in your mind like a thought. And most times when the Holy Spirit is talking, the Spirit of the Lord will drop that word over and over again. The reason why that word will be repeated over and over again is because of our frailties. It's because of the weakness we have in us. Because most times, we are too busy. Our mind is too busy with things. You're thinking about this. You're thinking about that. You're just not settled and so worried in the spirit, in the mind. And so when a word comes, a thought drops from the Spirit of the Lord, you still do not know that it has dropped. 
you still didn't recognize that that's of the Spirit of God. But when it keeps dropping, when it keeps showing up, showing up again, as it's the nature of the Holy Spirit, just to get our attention. And once you pick it, you can begin to operate or act, I mean, act on it. So when you pray in the Spirit often, your spirit man is sharpened to listen to the voice of the Spirit or to recognize it, that this is the voice of the Spirit. God speaks to many of us and in many times and in many occasions. But the problem is that we don't recognize that that's God and so we don't act on them. It would be fair if you can sharpen your spirit man and then you can recognize that this is God and this is coming from the Lord himself. And so praying in tongues is very important. So pray in tongues always. Pray in tongues always. Okay. And as you do that, it sharpens your spirit man. And once your spirit man is sharpened, you can, you know, be sensitive to, to pick the voice of the spirit. And then the inner witness of the spirit. And then you can act on it. Because it will be God's, you know, joy that we hear him and we obey him. For as many as are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Romans chapter 8 verse 14. And so today I'm going to leave you with this so that you can pray in the Spirit. And if you are not baptized in the Spirit, check out other videos on the baptism, how to be baptized in the Spirit. On the description, you'll see that video on how to be baptized in the Spirit. Now, by the time you watch this video again and again, if you are not baptized in the Spirit and you yearn for it, that baptism can come to you. So, Go and do a little quick, you know, a quick um, walk on what I've just, you know, uh, taught you now. That as you pray in the Spirit, the Spirit is sharpened. And then you can listen to the voice of the Spirit. And then, of course, like I said, it comes more, not just once. The Holy Spirit is not going to just speak to you once and then stops. No, He will speak to you once. He will repeat it again. Um, because His joy is to ensure that you get the instruction and you act on the instruction. So He comes back again. To put it, that thought back again, it comes back again, it comes back again to tell you this thing has not been done. Or brings that thought back to you again and said this is it, or a direction. And then once you pick it, and then the Spirit of the Lord is, you know, happy that you picked it and you're going to act on it. Um, I will recommend that, I'll ask you that, go to the comment section, react to this video. If it has blessed you, if, you have, if there's anything you've learned, on the comment section you know react to it and let's know how much it has blessed you and um, if you have not you know joined this family consider subscribing if you want consider subscribing to um, the channel and of course share the link with many other people to always come in you know for this you know discipleship you know program that we have at powerhouse believers network the lord bless you and until we meet again remain strong in the lord